Hello and welcome to Did I Say Podcast. It's a podcast about pure politics, and that is what we're here to discuss today. Absolutely. Um, hot politics, button issues after love them, hot button issues. hate them, neutral <laughs> feelings towards them, Democrat, <laughs> Republican, somewhere hate, in between. I hate all politics equally. We're, <laughs> we're going to dive into it today, uh, and I want to get just hand it off to Taylor here. To lead us <laughs> tell, off right off the bat, tell us this. all your political ideologies. Perfect. No, actually, we're here to discuss video games, and we're here to discuss how they change us, right? Well, also, I like to talk about how they change. Video games change. Yeah. They do. Yeah. And they also change us. That's so true. And that's what we're here to talk about. But I have with me today, Jared. That's me. He's Hello. in front of me. And then I've got to my right is Talon. <laughs> Hello. Talon's never been less comfortable and, around uh, us than he is right now. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah. Right. So, and today is, it's, my name's Ryan, and I'm here to talk about video game stories it's storytelling day we're gonna tell like around a campfire and we're I gonna just tell cue the fireplace crackling. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we're gonna discuss just favorite moments in our past where we're playing video games and having a blast and things we reminisce about and i'm sure each one of these stories we tell today is gonna be one we've heard mm -hmm. but hey i haven't told you guys in like 20 minutes <laughs> these stories <laughs> so right. you're gonna get to hear them again okay but i don't think i want to go first because i've already been talking for like what feels like 20 minutes oh yeah i mean if you want to just start over <laughs> 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 uh, uh so we're talking about like stories but mm -hmm. but more specifically i'm thinking like we could talk about any anything but my idea going into this was that we were going to be talking about some of our favorite memories mm -hmm. and in particular like memories with other people yeah that we're gaming yeah. with maybe multiplayer maybe just like yeah. couch co-op maybe just mm -hmm. someone else in the room with you yeah whatever that's one of like my earliest memories of hanging out with you is when we both got XCOM for the first time <laughs> And we were at my house yeah. and we decided to, yeah. for some reason, segregate the room into you, you or I, I don't even remember which of us was in the closet, mm -hmm. but we had a full setup mm -hmm. in the closet monitor on stand. I brought my 360 mm -hmm. over. Yeah. And we spent, I don't think we slept at all. It was, mm, just, it was like, we, no, we definitely did. Oh, okay. Cause there's a specific memory I have about sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you go on. Okay. Yeah. It's not, th th there's no climax to this story. It's just that we like there, those moments are so few and far between as we've gotten older that those are like, you don't realize how valuable those little moments are until you look back on them and realize like there may never be a point in my life again where i'll be able to just stay up all night like physically i'm too old mm -hmm. to be awake that mm -hmm. long not th even if i could clear my schedule to be like not doing anything for two days straight no it'll take me a week to recover from staying up that right late. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't make yeah. it past your like body hurts for some reason <laughs> like you're sore why am i getting more sore sitting still <laughs> right. what's happening to me yeah. but just being like feeling like there there was no barrier between me and playing XCOM for as long as I wanted. Mm -hmm. There was nothing that that required me to stop at any point. And those are the kind of memories that I'm like, man, if I could go back in time, that's probably the closest that I would get to be like true, unadulterated happiness. Mm -hmm. Just like, I'm here for as long as I want, and I'm just having a good time with my best friend. Like yeah. that was <laughs> such a, like a two old men fishing, well, but, I, but the video game version of that. Do you remember we ended up falling asleep at some point, and we probably woke up at like three p.m., four p.m. Uh, but I had I had dreamt hard about playing XCOM because mm -hmm. I had played so much XCOM mm -hmm. that my dream was just about playing XCOM. And I had woke <laughs> up and gone to the hallway, and there you were, and you said, "Do you dream about XCOM?" <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I dreamed about XCOM. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt that at all. That's what, like, I teach. Um, I work with a publisher to go to, like, board game conventions a few times a year. And we teach, 
the new games to everybody. Mm-hmm. That's like what I do. And you do it for over eight hours a day. And that's, that's the modern equivalent of that is that like I fall asleep and then I dream of like trying to teach a game where there's like extra pieces and I don't know what they do yeah, or something. Yeah. Or I wake up and be like, Hey, that's a good idea for a board game. And then it's gone in five minutes uh-huh. or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like, that's the closest I'll get to being able to play a game so long that I dream about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like volunteering for a board game publisher. But uh-huh. yeah, those, those kinds of memories are just like, I, that's basically what this episode's going to be for me. It's yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know what value the viewers are going to find in that, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think, I I think, think a lot of people will have some memory that is definitely relatable. Yeah. If they're a gamer. All right. Yeah, Everybody has that game that they like waited in line at midnight mm-hmm. for. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what this game was when I got it. I think you were just like, get this game. Oh, yeah. And I was like, okay. And I just loved it how insane. do you feel about aliens yeah not great <laughs> i don't care about <laughs> I aliens. i know you love sci-fi yeah. <laughs> it, it's fine yeah not a game hit hard yeah i just uh i got lucky with that yeah. recommendation I guess. it wasn't even a multiplayer game no nope. that's what i mean yeah. it's just like we were just <laughs> near each other which yeah. is like that's what i used to do with my friend evan like my entire high school career like i didn't go to parties i didn't get in trouble Every Friday, I would go to his house, and he had the whole bottom floor to himself. And he had, like, a guest room, a full bathroom, everything. And we would just barricade ourselves down there for three days, basically. I would leave Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And the entire time, like, every time I would go to his house, he would have a new CD, a new, like, magazine of something, like Rolling Stone or something, a new movie, and probably a new game. Mm -hmm. And we would spend all weekend just, like, watching movies, listening to music, reading, whatever. And his room was big enough that it was like, I'll just go in this corner and read while you're playing video games or mm-hmm. whatever. But I remember like Need for Speed 2 came out and we just played that game for three days straight, just nonstop, nothing yeah. but Coke and ramen. <laughs> yeah. And I know other people have that experience of just like your like mini vacation where mm-hmm. every, you just have that thing that you're looking forward to all week as mm-hmm. a kid, and especially in high school. For, for me, it was just like, can't wait for Friday to yeah. see what album Evan picked up or whatever, mm-hmm. but yeah. yeah, those memories are the best. Yeah, that's, that's stuff, two. Man. That's two. That's two. I that's see zero it, from here. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, tell me about your favorite memory with me. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> it was my birthday recently. You owe me this. <laughs> Where was I on your birthday? Yeah, exactly. That's what uh, I kept saying. Yeah. Natalie, where's Taylor? He had the little birthday hat and the string that was hurting his chin. And he's just like, Natalie, there this is chair. really yeah. cutting off my circulation. Yeah. Are you sure Taylor's on his way? Yeah. <laughs> he's really coming this time, guys. I swear. <laughs> he's got the chair that says little piece of paper folded, says Taylor. He's yeah. sitting at a table. Yeah. Everyone yeah. else has piece left. Of, yeah. Yeah. Piece the of banner's cake. fallen behind me. <laughs> the sun is setting. <laughs> Uneaten cake. On a plate with a fork and napkin, Spider Man themed. <laughs> Natalie walks past the camera on her way to go to sleep, and I'm like, Can you say it? Oh, well, man. What a good it's memory. We'll here, man. <laughs> this will be our Whatever, favorite, man. <laughs> favorite memories All the on the times podcast. That I wasn't there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Perfect. What a great way to remember me by. Mm-hmm. I know the next episode. <laughs> You've done it to yourself. The suspense is killing me. Uh, me too. What? I need to hear Taylor's story. Oh, okay. I guess we have I've to got stop a few. Okay. For that. <laughs> He's got a few stories. Yeah. I do have a few stories. Okay. <clears throat> One of my favorite memories is being at work with Ryan and finishing Fun all of our work for the day as uh-huh. fast yeah. as we could. Yeah as efficiently as we could uh-huh. we didn't half a anything no. for the work you have yeah. to min max the work so that yeah, you can no. min max your grind that's right no we we did good work that's right but we play hard too okay <laughs> <laughs> so we both got off at 9 30 ish yeah <laughs> who knows we tried to finish all of our work by six uh-huh. both b- brings up both brought our laptops and uh-huh. we would go and we would like, we played all through the first Dark Souls, mm-hmm. even played through the DLC, which I actually hadn't done we, before. We did Dark Souls 2, I think, is what you really No, doing. we did Dark Souls 1 and okay. 2. And 2. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, it, yeah, just playing games. Very efficient. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tons of Brawlhalla. That's right. Exactly. exactly. So, we had, a, like, a little private room, mm-hmm. a desk, 
where we both brought our laptops in, which weren't great laptops. No. Uh, but we were gaming on them back there. We, man, we, <laughs> we, were, gaming <laughs> we were gaming on them back there. That's right. But I just look back on that and I'm like, that is never going to happen again. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? That, yeah. The thing about a lot of these memories, I think, is it's not that they're particularly special, like that some big, unique right. thing happened. Yeah. It's that you you just can't go back to them. Right. And mm-hmm. and even at the time, it was like, man, this is probably not going to be a long-lived opportunity right. to like sit around yeah. and do this. Yeah. I remember thinking that a lot, just being like, actually, probably not going to get to do this much longer. I should, right. I should enjoy this. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And just, I remember Ryan filling out an application to go somewhere else while we were playing, and I remember just being like, all right, counting down the days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, everything's inevitable like that or whatever. But, yeah. you know, it was just looking back, I'm like, I had a lot of good times. And, of course, and I think that's one thing that I like about games so much is just the, the community that you build around these people you play mm-hmm. these games with mm-hmm. is what you remember and who you were there with. You know what I mean? Regardless yeah, totally. of whatever the game was, mm-hmm. it was who you were experiencing mm-hmm. with. Like you guys were talking about XCOM mm-hmm. and stuff like that, where yeah. it's like you remember specifically XCOM, but you specifically remember asking, like, talking about, did you dream about XCOM? Or yeah. You know, yeah. so it's yeah. about... Yeah, well, I remember specifically you saying you you bought Dark Souls 2 on your PC. We got, like, on sale for, like, 15 bucks. Came right. With all the DLC. Yeah. Yeah. And we were, like, 30 minutes into playing it, and you said, man, I'm so glad I bought this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so. I don't remember you saying that when we were playing First Ascendant. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> well, that was free, so you didn't have to. Yeah, uh, yeah. exactly. I'm yeah. so glad this is free. Is what I'm so said. glad I downloaded this. I'm so glad I didn't pay for this. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Okay. I'm so glad this that was seems free. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But awesome. you reminded me of another memory of like just thinking about like a, the same like it's about who you're with and mm-hmm. that kind of thing. It's like. In high school, we used to have the the like clamshell Game Boy Advances oh, okay. yeah, that yeah, would yeah. shut, and we had the first Final Fantasy Tactics, and you could use the connector cable mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. connect to somebody else and do like multiplayer stuff. Mm-hmm. And I don't even remember what you get for it, but it's like I never did the multiplayer. I think there's like tactics. pieces of gear that you can't get otherwise or whatever. Really. But it was something because everybody like. I had like five friends. It was like me and then, of course, Brent and Evan. And everybody had the game. And the multiplayer was never a big component of Final Fantasy Tactics. But we were all so into it that we bought the cables. And then like during lunch, we would all scramble under the stairs and like connect them and try and like do a quest before lunch was over or whatever. Yeah. It was just like the, the moments where you're a broke high school kid and you're like, Cable cost how much? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. And you're like, I gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. I just remember spending everything I had every paycheck. And then know? the moments when you're an adult and you're like, cable cost how much? Cable cost yeah. how much? Yeah. Yeah. I should have kept it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're kidding. exactly. Gosh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, but just stuff like that is mm-hmm. so funny to me to think back on. It's just like, how nerdy are you to be like cramped under this staircase during lunch yeah. playing Final Fantasy uh-huh. Tactics? Oh. Yeah, but. ain't nothing gonna stop me. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Uh, well, anyone who knows me a little bit knows that I'm a bit of a troll and I like to mess with people. And I'm not you. Uh, <laughs> and that definitely comes out in video games. If I can have a good time just messing with people and not worrying about mm-hmm. my stats or my KDA. You know, like that, I'm, ha- I'm having a much better time than when I'm competitive. Mm-hmm. Um, but I enjoy both ends of that. But I actually got on the rec- receiving end of some trolling, and that was from Talon. And <laughs> what? <laughs> Not this Talon. was pretty early on in, uh, into our friendship, and I hadn't played Dark Souls yet. And Talon says, play this Dark Souls game. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I think you'll like it. And I'm like, I don't think I will. So I played Dark Souls. And I love it, and I'm loving it, and I'm playing this game, and I'm figuring it out, and I'm very careful about this game. And then I go to work, and there's Talon in the locker room, and he says, have you gone over uh, down into the New Londo area? <laughs> okay. And you use the key on this door, which takes you down some stairs, and you'll come across a cliff, and there's a dead dragon. Uh-huh. And there's a bunch of great loot next to this dead dragon. 
And I'm like, great, I could use some good loot in this hard game. I would game. love some loot in this yeah. very challenging yes. game. So I yeah. go over there, and sure enough, I find a dead dragon. Uh -huh. I'm like, cool. I love how premeditated this was. Yes. Talon wasn't even there to witness it. No. He, he was sitting at home being like, I got this. This was a memory that felt like Talon was behind me watching. Yeah. Uh, but he yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. And you can feel his presence yeah. laughing. At yes. You. Yeah. So I go over to these items, and the very first one you pick up, it's some great loot. It's like a shield, mm -hmm. and it's got like a dragon emblem on it. But that wakes up this dead dragon, mm -hmm. which then kills you immediately. <laughs> It's, it just just obliterates you in one hit. Yeah. And I lose all my souls. Uh, my blood stain is just sitting next to this dead dragon that kills you instantly. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to get these souls back. Uh, so I just go to work mad at Talon. <laughs> Can't believe he did this to me. And it took me several weeks before I just like laughed at this uh -huh. trolling prank. But where's the, li where's the lie, Ryan? He, he told you exactly what you would find. Uh, yes there was yeah. great loot yeah. there yeah. was a dragon yeah. so yeah. I, I, it definitely taught me how to be on the receiving end of some uh, trolling yeah. <laughs> but uh, it is a memory I think of uh, quite often when playing Dark Souls especially when I come across the dead dragon yeah, yeah. it's really funny yeah. I like the I think a big part of memories for me is like I so for example that game that we were playing the like hide and seek game I can't remember what it's called you turn seek, into probably. objects uh huh and then you like, and yeah. then you try and hunt each other. Yes. You just showed me that game like, no, no context. You were like, hey, get on, buy it's this 99 game. It's like cents. ninety nine cents. Yeah. Buy this game, get on. Those kind of moments to me are so fun because like we were, I was dying laughing oh, the whole time, yeah. but we somehow managed to get like six or seven people together mm -hmm. to play yeah. this game mm -hmm. on short notice, which is like impossible. Impossible. Like, right. I don't know yeah. how you managed yeah. to do it, but it was so <laughs> I funny. Just, I saw out mass text. Like, I was yes. like, this game's 99 cents. I will buy it for you. Let's go. Or let's just buy go. it and yeah. let's go. I'll buy up to 10 <laughs> copies for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, and it was just like, so funny to hear everybody just like constantly panic screaming yes. and just like yelling at each other yeah. about yeah. strategies yeah. and stuff. But the thing like that is such a, peak example of you trolling people because uh -huh. that game is designed to For, just let you troll yes, people yes. Right. and it's yeah. just like you're like a box and the person's like right in <laughs> like right in front of you and you're like trying to sneak past them and yeah everything about it is so like just like mm -hmm. acne cartoon ridiculous yes. right uh, it's it was really hilarious. <clears throat> yes but those kind of moments are like really hard to get mm -hmm. just to like find that opportunity where the stars align and everybody's like, yeah, I'll hop on. Mm -hmm. Especially now that, that kind of stuff. So funny. Too. Yeah. But it's, that was when you started talking about trolling, that was the first thing I thought of. Mm -hmm. It's just like yeah. <laughs> hopping up and down as a box behind somebody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not only could you, 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 so you turn into objects, uh, and then you hide amongst other objects and then somebody who can't turn into objects has a gun and they have to try and shoot right. their objects and find them. And, uh, I turned into a shovel and hid under a bush and you couldn't see the shovel or me yeah and people would shoot the bush because they thought i was the bush but it wouldn't hit me and i would win every round uh -huh. <laughs> if i was an object and then yeah. i grabbed somebody was near me that was also trying to hide and i was the shovel and i think it was natalie and i turned into the shovel and then i went over to hop next to natalie and i was like turn into this shovel and get in this bush with me <laughs> and by the time she had done that someone spotted us oh, and no. had gotten us before we could get in the bush but Blew your cover yeah that's well. hilarious <clears throat> yeah that that is the biggest troll of all to me in that game is that it doesn't tell you if you don't win if you can't find everybody mm -hmm. the game doesn't tell you where they were hiding mm -hmm. it doesn't yeah. like show it doesn't have like a kill cam right. that zooms yeah. in on where they were yeah. so you'll just never know where they were hiding <laughs> and that drove me crazy like mm -hmm. I understand why because eventually you run out of hiding spots right. and they show them yeah. but I was just like where were you Ryan where were you <laughs> I'm not gonna tell, <laughs> tell me Ryan. no way yeah. and whenever you're ready tell one. just okay. tell one of your memories okay I have a good memory. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> we probably should be saying the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, don't say. We'll do a different episode on worst, worst game memories possible. That's yeah. right. Uh, <clears throat> my Dark Souls one is also in that category, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of yeah. the best and worst? Best and worst. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I get that. Uh, Heather and I just moved into oh, our congratulations. tiny yeah. apartment or townhouse or whatever. And it's pretty big. I'm talking about. <laughs> our apartment i'm trolling you over keep in, going over in Hardin valley 
Huh? Yeah. Yeah, the one over in Harvey. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Ryan at this time is obsessed with FromSoft games. Mm -hmm. There's a new game coming out, but it's PS4 exclusive. Oh, no. Mm. So, Ryan. I think I know what game you're talking about. <laughs> is it this one? Does, exactly. <laughs> okay. Does everything he can. Sells everything, as mm -hmm. far as I know, right? I sell my Xbox, all my Xbox games. Anybody yeah. want a car? My, Anybody? Uh, I just sell everything Xbox I have, of course, because I'm getting rid of my Xbox. Right. And I ended up getting like $800 in wow, credit really? at GameStop. Wow. Yeah. Brutal. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. They Could must do have that had now. a promo or something going Right. On. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure they did. It's like for trading in consoles and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was Xbox One something, something. Yeah. But whatever. From stuff's coming out with their new game, Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, Sony exclusive. Yeah, let's get. We've already played through the Dark Souls games together. Mm -hmm. Bloodborne's coming out. So he brings over his TV. We've got like six cases of vanilla Coke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Comes over at like 8 a.m. with his TV. Say bye to Heather. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude. Took time we, off work. Yep. We, yeah, we both took vacation days. Yep. We took vac vacation days just for this game. Mm hmm. And there we are playing Bloodborne, mm -hmm. dude. All Not a day, of dude. Regret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No water. We didn't drink any water. No water. It's just vanilla Coke. Oh, that <laughs> was water. water. Just cases and cases of vanilla Coke, dude. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty typical. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I was saying. Like we lived off Coke and ramen. I don't think I drink a glass of water the entire time I was in high school. Sugar and <laughs> salt. Just, yeah, exactly. How Sugar and salt and caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> I just absorb it through moisture in the air, I guess. I don't know. I don't know yeah. how I survived. That's <laughs> right. But that's a good memory for me, man. I just yeah. think about that just because that's not really something. New. I mean, technically we could do it now, but like trying to finagle time and, mm -hmm. you know, that's it's just so yeah. hard to, to do that, you know. It we, always amazes me the resources that we had when we were young. Like yeah. looking at like, I was thinking about buying a PS5 recently and I was like, dude, 10 years ago, how did I possibly afford to buy an Xbox One on day one with like three games? Right. Like, where did yeah. I get this money from? Mm -hmm. I yeah. was always broke. Well, I bought yeah. my 360 with my first job at Zaxby's mm -hmm. and didn't have enough money to buy a video game. So I just had a 360. Did you play that Hexagon <laughs> I, game that's on it? That little puzzle uh, game? That came no, I didn't. I just had my friend over, Nathaniel, and we had an Xbox and a controller and a TV. Yeah. And uh, I was like, cool. <laughs> and you, what, what did you both just we, look at this menu? I said to my, I'm 17 at this time, and I'm like, Mom, will you rent me a video game? <laughs> Mom, I would like to love. We <laughs> went and rented Oblivion. She rented Oblivion for me. Nice. And t uh, Nathaniel yeah. and I stayed up pretty late playing uh, Oblivion. This was not one of my scripted uh, memories. Yeah. Cool. It's yeah. cool how it just kind of... I came up with one memory and yeah. I was like, I'll do the rest on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about memories all yeah. I don't remember the my time. memories right now. Yeah. Natalie's yeah. like, if you talk about what you did in middle school one more time, so, yeah. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's awesome. Speaking well, of 360, though, yeah. is I remember when Gears came out, Gears and you would have and LAN war. parties yeah. where you would just bring over a bunch of Xboxes and connect to the, t the cables. Mm -hmm. the, the back of the 360, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And just LAN play. Party. Yeah, yeah, dude. Dude, LAN parties, that. Yes. Talk I mean, about, if I think. Talk about memories. If I yes. think LAN parties, I'm not thinking Gears. I'm thinking Halo. 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 Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Uh, that, I was going to say, we do LAN parties when possible. We did one recently for mm -hmm. your birthday, which was super fun. Mm -hmm. But that that's like. Basically, for a huge chunk of my life, my birthday was just hey, land parties. I had a friend who mm -hmm. had a house mm -hmm. that he, I don't know if he was renting it from his parents yeah. or what, but he just had a whole house to yeah. himself. And every year I'd be like, Luke, is birthday time? <laughs> and he would be like, yeah, it is. <laughs> and, I, and we would have a Halo land party. And it was like, you need 16 people to do it right. Mm -hmm. That's the real Halo Land party. Oh. And this guy would have friends crawling out of the woodwork. I mean, mm -hmm. people were showing up. I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. And they, they would literally just like kick the door open and be uh -huh. like, what team am I on? Yeah, controller like, in I hand. I don't know, dude. I'm, we're yeah. in the middle of shoddy snipers. I can't help yeah. you. Yeah. And there would just be like 18 stacks of pizza boxes. And mm -hmm. that was like, we're here for the duration, boys. And yeah. Until we don't have enough people. Yeah. 
we're playing yeah. Halo. Yeah. <laughs> when my body collapses from the yeah. And it was like every <laughs> year. when I call it. Yeah. 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 I, I, eventually it got to the point where people would like actually remember my birthday just because they were wanted to come to the LAN party. Mm-hmm. Right. Just like yeah. the only yeah. way to get yeah. people to remember your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> they thought it was the birthday of LAN parties mm-hmm. is what they thought they were All celebrating. Right. <laughs> and when I was in high school, I knew a guy, his parents were like super wealthy and his hole downstairs was his, but he had like arcade machines, like the racing arcade machines oh, where you'd like gosh. sit down. Yeah. 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 Pinball machines and everything. And he would do Halo land parties once a year. Mm. Not Taylor grew birthday, up in a neighborhood. Happened. You had a rich friend. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sucks to suck, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember that because he would have so many people down there. He, it was co-ed. Uh-huh. He would bring, like he would invite girls, and it would be like a 50-50 mix wow. in high school. That's mm-hmm. impressive. Where we're all sitting yeah. around playing video games, and the girls are like just like watching movies or or just like hanging out oh, with their okay. boyfriends or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, so I mean, some of them played for sure. But yeah. But like, I was just always in awe of what did you tell them. Mm-hmm. Was gonna that happen. made them want to come <laughs> to watch other people play a video game. Right. Yeah. Like I, but the, it was like three years in a row he did that. Like yeah. it was not a one time thing. So I was yeah. like that was the Halo land party to end all Halo land parties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was hard to even walk. Mm-hmm. There were so many people around there. Mm-hmm. Like wow. it was crazy. Yeah. Sounds incredible. Yeah. Yeah. His mom just like doing bathroom checks every ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you, you better be killing each other in there. Yeah. Y'all better be shooting each other. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. There better be violence out here. That's yeah. right. That that was my that was my like main memory. I didn't mean to step on your I think I stepped on your it's so stepped party on. memory. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, well, I have a I have several Halo memories, but I have one with uh <laughs> Andrew where but going back to how I like to troll mm-hmm. in Halo, especially uh, Halo Three had a map called Snowbound. Do y'all remember it? Had like two Covenant little bitty bases with like shield doors. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. a little tunnel mm-hmm. that connected them underneath the snow. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're playing team doubles. We play team doubles a lot. So it's me and Andrew versus two randos online. And we like to play this game where we hid from the other team instead of playing the game. The entire exterior of the map mm-hmm. is guarded by these like Covenant turrets that will shoot you if you try and leave the map Mm -hmm. okay um and then there's one turret that's like in a canyon area on where the there's like the walled side of the map yeah there's like a cliff on like two-thirds of it and a mountain range on the other one. and so there's this canyon and you can go down this canyon but this turret will shoot you but you can just crouch and hide underneath the turret and Mm. you're very hard to see especially if you're the red team because the turrets are red. Mm. Ah. So Andrew and I just crouch behind this turret. Watching these two and... people just run around. <laughs> we are we both have like sniper rifles, like those there's like a carbon rifle spawn right there, and we eventually both grab it mm-hmm. and we're just carbon rifle scoping and watching them look for us. Yeah. They looked for us for like thirty minutes in a team doubles match. And we're just like eating pizza and drinking Coke <laughs> and watching through our scopes. Yeah. And then the match ends. And every Halo match ends, you can talk to your opponent. Mm-hmm. And it's oh. usually just cussing back and oh, forth yeah. Yeah. and trash talking. But this time it was just like, we looked for you guys everywhere. We couldn't find you. So what did we and Andrew say? We were like, we were also looking for you <laughs> the entire time. Yeah. And we could not find you. I was like, where were you guys? And they were like, we were running all over the map. We split up, could not find you. Dude, that's hilarious. And we, I was like, me and my guy also, we split up and could not find you. And we we're like, go check in the theater footage. And Halo 3 had a theater mode oh, where you could watch previous yeah. matches. <laughs> So we told them to go to theater mode. Like, we'll prove it. Go in theater mode. We yeah. were watch- looking for you guys. We just never ran into each other, I guess. Yeah. So they go to theater mode, and what do they see? They see us camping Immediately behind them. Immediately camping. <laughs> <laughs> for 30 minutes straight, looking yeah. through scopes at them, just pretending to get headshots. Yeah. And... <laughs> That's so good. They message us through like the Microsoft chat stuff, yeah. like man, I cannot believe you guys. <laughs> I don't remember specifically what they said. But, yeah, yeah, they were not happy. Oh, dude. <laughs> hey, but, Halo Two specifically. I had a friend that I didn't have Xbox Live because where I lived, the internet was too slow to play online. Yeah. So if I wanted to play Xbox online, I had to pack that bad boy up mm-hmm. and had to take him to somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so had it. Which and was then, not like, a problem. Buy a month oh, no. of Xbox Live because yeah. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you get those free Xbox trial cards for like 14 days from your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's like you're going to yeah. like stores. 
y'all got any of them free 14 day yeah, free yeah, trials? Yeah. yeah. So then my friend Holden, I go to hit, hit best name of all time. Holden Knuckles is his name. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. He, I knew his name was Holden, but yeah. I didn't know his last name. He would greet people by doing this. Yeah. Uh, nice. Which I always thought was hilarious. <laughs> Look like a karate move. Yeah. Um, and he was, there was a summer where literally all this man did was play Halo 2. Uh-huh. You could go to his house at any time. Mm-hmm. Day or night, mm-hmm. doesn't matter. He'll be up and he'll be playing Halo. You don't mm-hmm. even have to tell him you're coming over. Mm-hmm. Just pull up, <laughs> plug in your Xbox and go. Yeah. And this man was literally like in the top 100 people in the world uh-huh. at, at Halo 2 because it's all he did for a summer. And I remember we would play like doubles and he would be like, uh, jump off the edge of the map as fast as you can, just like over and over. And I would be deducting points from the kill total by killing myself over uh-huh. and over again. And he would still win by killing them so fast that he got to the 20 point score with me jumping off the edge uh-huh. of the map. <laughs> wow. Oh. Like, and he talk about trolling people. That man would troll people so hard. Anytime people would be like, you got to be cheating. He would be like, no, dude, I just have a T3 connection. It just cuts right through the lag. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, it was just unreal to watch him. Like the things that he would do just to keep the game interesting for himself oh, were yeah. just unreal. Wow. Okay. But the trolling was like always next level. Yeah. Sound effects, voice changers, all the, all that good stuff. That's awesome. It was just so ridiculous. Uh-huh. Uh, Halo one, uh was the halo i played last actually uh Mm -hmm. when it came to pc me and andrew got it on pc and we played online together and unbeknownst to him i downloaded a mod for halo Mm one which was a cheating mod which allowed me to just hold shift and it would lock on for headshots oh Uh... so i would just grab a sniper rifle and we would spawn (laughs) and i would shift click uh and he would die. Didn't matter where he was. <laughs> We'd play like Blood Gulch and I'd shift, click, he's dead. Yeah. And <laughs> I wouldn't even have to scope or anything, just shift, click. As soon as he exited the building, shift, click. And he's like, man, you've gotten so good at Halo. <laughs> yeah. And we were on like a smaller map. I can't remember the name of all the Halo 1 maps, but there's like a ton of corners and I would just grab a pistol and mm-hmm. he would come around a corner and my mouse is just like, Zoomed in on his head as he's moving. I can see him moving past a wall. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as he turns the corner, I know it. I'm click, 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 click. Headshot, headshot, headshot with a pistol. Yeah. And he dies. Like, no time to respond. He's like, I don't understand. Because <laughs> the entire time we've played all the Halo games together, we've been pretty neck and neck skill wise. Like, right. Yeah. Like, we've always been pretty good. And then we get on PC and I'm just like dominating him. Yeah. Because I understand just destroying him. anything. And. The game would crash if you got in a tank or like a vehicle and you had mm. shift. The the game wouldn't know what to do and it would crash. But mm-hmm. that was the only problem I had with it. But man, I had so much fun messing with him. And <laughs> I finally told him like four years after the fact yeah. that I was messing with him. Andrew and has so much blind faith in you. <clears throat> mm-hmm. yeah. he, his only conclusion is... Ryan has just gotten that pro level good. He's pro <laughs> level good overnight. <laughs> number one, yeah, yeah. number he one was, in the world. Yeah. <laughs> he was real bad for about five minutes, and then he went away to the bathroom. Uh, and <laughs> as it all is of a sudden, unreal <laughs> what just peeing can do for you. Yeah. Really focused down. Yeah. <laughs> Just lock in, stare at yourself in the oh. bathroom for 30 seconds, and you can take over the world. That's so uh, hilarious. That's having, awesome. having 100 kills while he has zero. Yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> Incredible. Now, that's a memory you can't get back. Because <laughs> you will be perma-banned. Yeah, that's right. I we I didn't use the mod online. It was just like custom matches with mm-hmm. Andrew. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I actually think, like, I love SWAT because mm-hmm. of how quick everything happens. Yeah. So everybody installing that mod and just just seeing it's just literally whoever notices who first. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just as boom. soon as someone puts their head around any wall. Yeah. You get yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't do it. That's a different game. <laughs> that, that, Sounds great. Though. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. That's hilarious. Um, I think that's my last Halo memory. Nice. That I want to talk about. I've got so, so many. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. course. Yeah. Yeah. I. <laughs> I have so many Halo memories. There's absolutely no way that I could even tell you all of the highlights. Yeah. Of because it was just such a, like a huge block of my life is just Halo. Yeah. Just all. Halo. About six years of my life was yeah. dedicated to Halo. Yeah. yeah. Let's Look get at stuff. us now. 
mm-hmm. talking about Halo. Makes you want to go play Halo. Yeah, it does make me want to go play Halo, but yeah. I don't think Infinite uh, has quite reached the highs of uh, no. Halo I Two mean, for me. Still Halo Three on, online right now. I mean, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. We get something together with all our listeners. Mm-hmm. We'll all play together Stick. with the mod. <laughs> <laughs> Rockets and Rockets mod. only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First exactly. one to get banned loses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah, that's awesome. So an unmultiplayer related memory mm-hmm. uh, that I is probably one of my favorite memories to be honest is I've talked about this before, but when I was a kid, I only had one neighbor that played video games Mm -hmm. and, and it was like, he had a PlayStation. I had the Nintendo 64. And so the only, like I would rent games, but that didn't happen all that often. So the, uh, the only alternative was to like try and get really cheap games at Walmart. (laughs) Just like, yeah, just sight unseen didn't even really look at the box i was looking at price tags and just be like that one's twenty dollars mm-hmm. i bet i can talk my mom into buying me that mm-hmm. right see what it is yeah but with the playstation you could get demo discs in all these different magazines mm-hmm. and that was a total game changer yeah you didn't get demo cartridges for, no you did not <laughs> get demo N64. cartridges yeah, yeah no kidding no. <laughs> and that was so incredible to me because neither one of us were even allowed to play mature rated games but the demo discs would have mature rated games uh-huh. on them. i think i've talked about this Work memory around. specifically yeah. but yes we like going to his house and getting a demo disc and just playing every single demo for hours yeah. and just like it was a big part of like what helped me to like diversify my interests in games that like i play almost every genre and that's probably because I had to when I was a kid because the demo discs, it was like, you play whatever you can get your hands on. Otherwise you're just going to be playing the same game. Did you play the Sly Cooper and Ratchet and Clank demo disc? That's the one I played the most of. Mm -hmm. So probably PlayStation two was a whole nother beast because I got a PlayStation Mm two, but probably because I was playing demos for the PS one all the time. Mm -hmm. But it was like Siphon Filter, which mm. is like not a good game, but I loved it. Yeah. I thought mm-hmm. it was amazing. And it was like Metal Gear Solid was like the first M-rated game that I had ever played because the first level where you like swim under like through that underwater tunnel into mm-hmm. like the, the loading bay area with the freight elevator. And you have to like sneak from the water into the elevator. That whole level, we would just make up like challenges for each other Mm -hmm. like you have to like knock out every person or you have to kill every person or you have to like not be seen at all or Mm -hmm. whatever yeah and we played it oh i mean we probably put a dozen hours into this 30 minute Mm -hmm. you can only use your feet yeah you can only use your feet i don't know what that means (laughs) but yeah you could totally (laughs) we should we should go find old demo discs and just see what's on and see what's yeah but it was the same thing with playstation 2 is like then getting a subscription to a magazine was super important mm-hmm. because if it had a demo disc in it right. every month was a whole new adventure uh-huh. yeah so it was so much more about playing the games than just having to read about them or whatever right and that's that's kind of something that i've carried forward is like me and my partner like once a month or something she will just find tons of games like on game pass or steam or whatever we'll find demos or just games that are super indie on game pass or whatever and we'll just sit down and i'll just play them blind yeah we'll just spend like an hour on each game just seeing what it is or whatever yeah and i'm sure that part of that is like tapping into that satisfaction of like what is in what right. is on this disc what, yeah what am i even looking at here and i used to love that stuff so much it was like a huge part of my childhood to, yeah to run over to my friend's house every time he got the new demo disc yeah no, if, you could, if you could spend 20 hours on a demo disc, I imagine if you had the full game. Yeah, the, exactly. the irony yeah. is I think I would spend less total time playing the game. The yeah. One. Like not, not of that demo, but of the demo disc itself. Like mm-hmm. all the different games, I put so much time into them. Yeah. And if I had just gotten one game, like from my mom or something, I don't know. I, w- I would play it, of course, but it's just not the same as like having a little buffet of games right. you just yeah. nibble on a little bit of each one you <laughs> yeah. know yeah. Just yeah. No, see what exactly. you get yeah. no uh, i remember going to like eb games i think that was what it was called at the time mm. and seeing like it would be like five or ten bucks for it would be like just a normal game case for the ps2 you know and have a list of the games that are going to mm-hmm. be on this disc and you were like well i could say i don't have money to buy a real game yeah so let me buy this and i'll have like 
primal from the ps2 and like mm -hmm. all this like random games or whatever and be like but here's this one game that i actually really looking forward to and then you would find something among the you know yeah the, the diamond in the rough kind of thing right or whatever so they, th those are cool sometimes they were pretty i mean metal gear solid is pretty high profile yeah right? absolutely so, like, sometimes you got a game and you were like nba street like i can just play like a yeah. big mm -hmm. chunk of this game right my favorite is when the games like time you out instead of having right. a set amount of the game that you mm -hmm. can play like a certain level or whatever because then it's just you're just speed running to see how much you can get done you know <laughs> you what can I get mean? done it's before like, the time the then end. you theoretically mm -hmm. can get a little bit more out of every playthrough right and we used to do stuff like that all the time too yeah it was great no that's awesome speaking of the ps2 days when uh my cousin and i uh for every christmas my grandmother would usually like give us some money um she didn't give us presents anymore it was just like here's some money so uh the day after christmas we would always go to the mall and of course we would go to the game store and have just enough money mm -hmm. to pick out one brand new game basically at that point and i remember we bought um devil may cry mm -hmm. so this is like 2001 mm -hmm. right didn't really know anything about it we mm -hmm. knew capcom logo on it yeah mm -hmm. big fans of capcom obviously so we brought it home and wasn't really sure what to make about it it just had a really cool cover you know guy looks awesome he's standing there with like his gun he's kind of he's like, got his red leather jacket right on. exactly yeah white hair yeah, right exactly and so you're like maybe the second level into the game or whatever and this freaking like electric sword is stuck in the wall and it shoots out and impales Dante. This this cutscene is literally. Are we good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. That cutscene is literally embedded in my brain. It is ever. mine too. Yeah. I, I was mind blowing yeah. as a kid to see like, because there's a level of cinematography to it that oh, is like, was not really present mm -hmm. in most American games at the yeah. time. This yeah. is where video games were starting to become more yeah. cinematic. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. If I go back and watch that cutscene now, I'll probably I would probably be embarrassed to say that on oh, camera. But in sure. my head it was like watching a movie. No way, man. That's awesome. Yeah. It was it was dead. I went and watched it this morning. Okay, cool. And Great. I was like, man, it's still cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It gets impaled and you're like the main character just died. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then he just like gets up like <laughs> It goes through the sword. Uh -huh. He pulls himself even like through the hilt. He like pulls himself off of the like, right, sword. exactly. Yeah. And he looks like he's gonna fall forward, and then he goes and grabs the sword. <laughs> he throws it up in the or he, like he basically um, lifts it up in the air. For some reason, <laughs> there's like this mural glass paint or glass uh, ceiling. You know why it that's explodes? There. Yeah, it's yeah. there to explode. The glass is falling, <laughs> and he does like some slow motion moves and cuts through the glass while it falls. And it's like I'll never watch anything as cool as that. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing to me is <laughs> like, I'm like 11 years old at this point, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, all of us are like life changing, amazing. Yeah. But if that were happening in real life, yeah. it would be the equivalent of like the Star Wars kid doing the lightsaber duel by himself. Uh -huh. yeah, like, yeah. Why exactly. are you cutting up the glass? Like, yeah. What does any yeah. of this That's mean? That's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not just that, but like you yeah. could just move. Like yeah. you're clearly right. very fast. You could just walk out from under it. But, yeah. Yeah. but he's just but it's doing not cool. He's just having fun. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, it was so funny to me. Yeah. But. but I just remember my cousin and I, just like our jaws being on the floor mm -hmm. and being like, just... Yeah absolutely blow it away incredible yeah that's just, exactly i love that stuff right my there. experience yeah. is like me and my neighbor just being like is this as cool as i think it is? right yeah exactly are you watching the same thing this is crazy mm -hmm. yeah yeah it was good good stuff <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. uh i mean i've got lots of i've got memories of i've worked at um i think every single video game store that i've ever been aware that's of existed, yeah yeah so i have lots of memories of like working around video games mm -hmm. um but I think for legal reasons, I probably can't talk about the best memories. Just I go on. <laughs> yeah. It was, Who's uh, going to come at you? They're all shut down. Uh, that's actually 100% true. Yeah. Like even the game so, haven, game crazy. <laughs> yeah. GameStop I worked at, but nothing crazy happened at GameStop. Yeah. GameStop was an exceptionally boring place to work. Yeah. Uh, but game crazy was like the real true memory for me because it was one of those situations where I literally, I wanted just any as close as I could get to video games. Mm -hmm. whatever yeah that's all i that's all i wanted mm -hmm. I just and want i remember, rub them against my cheek <laughs> <laughs> in a sense yeah um emotionally yes uh, yeah and there used to be hollywood video which is a video rental store if that's not clear from the name they used to have this internal video game store mm -hmm. 
and the way that they separated them was to literally just put up a big chain link fence in the store. Are you talking the about store. the one in mm. uh, Alcoa? No, there was one in Alcoa. Because okay, it's set up um, the exact same way. Uh, they were all like that. Okay. They all just, they were just like, how do we create a video game store? <laughs> Obviously, you put a chain link fence inside your store, yeah. and then you put a different store on the other side. Yeah. And we had like our own entrance from the inside out, but like to move through there to the Hollywood video was literally just like you were in prison, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was one of the situations I went in, and it just happened to be that the guy that was the manager there had just taken over as manager because they like fired everyone for some reason mm -hmm. that I still don't know. And he was like talking to somebody about a game and I just like chimed in. And then he was like, hey, you looking for a job? And I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, and, then, and I started working there. And then it was just this slow accrual of like, then I got my friend Brent a job. Then I got my friend Evan a job. Then I got my friend Luke a job. And like mm -hmm. everyone there is well, like friends uh -huh. first. Yeah. And yeah. then we're go uh -huh. But it was one of those situations where it was like all of us liked games so much that we were always number one in our district. We, it was so easy to sell games because uh -huh. we all just lived and breathed it and we knew everything about them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they couldn't, I don't know that they couldn't, but they wouldn't ever touch us because our sales were so good yeah. that no matter what we did, you they could were just fix like, the GameStop model. <laughs> basically. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can actually, yeah. <laughs> um, I won't do that on the air. Call me <laughs> if you want me to help you with that. Yeah. But my manager, like stuff would happen. And my manager would just lie for us because we were so good at getting sales that mm -hmm. it was worth bulletproof. It was worth him getting in trouble not to lose us because yeah. they'll write him up, but they'll fire us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, there were times where, we, I mean, it was unreal what we were able to do. Like my friend sold our demo PS2 that the store had, like it was a demo unit sent to us from corporate so that people could try games before they bought them. He just sold it. <laughs> don't know why mm -hmm. for the commission i guess because mm -hmm. you get like a small commission mm -hmm. and then i remember him calling realizing that he had sold the demo unit and calling our boss and being like hey i hey i sold the demo unit and I, you could hear <laughs> our, my boss on the other end of the phone being like bro you sold our demo unit <laughs> and then he pauses for a second and he's like did you get a warranty <laughs> my friend's like yeah i got a warranty he's like all right well i guess that's a little better but man you sold our demo unit <laughs> Just, no idea what to do yeah and then that same friend we had to work on christmas and it was me and him and we had i think my friend brent had to come in on christmas they they had three people there and i'm like dude it's gonna be so dead why did they do this and then when we come in, it is like the zombie apocalypse on the other side of the chain link fence. Mm. It is just people pressed up against it with their fingers in mm -hmm. the chain link fence being like, I need games for my son. I'm like, you need to go home to your son. Mm. Why are you here on Christmas Day? Yeah. You do not shop for gifts. You, mm -hmm. It should be under your tree. Yeah. And then the, that was like the first wave of people. And then once they left, completely dead, all three of us doing absolutely nothing. Some guy calls and asks if we have manhunt and my friend does not even, he's like, nope. And he just hangs, <laughs> hangs up the phone, just not even letting the guy finish his sentence. Yeah. And then the guy comes in, by the way. we're all, oh, we had plenty of manhunt. <laughs> the guy comes in, we have like a little booth in the middle of the store that has like three monitors mm -hmm in a circle mm -hmm. and it's just for people to try the games or whatever. Mm. And there's like a cage underneath where the consoles are. We're all playing all three of them, just playing Naruto or something, just like mm -hmm. fighting each other. Yeah. He comes in, not acknowledged. <laughs> this guy is like looking around and then one of us goes and stands behind the counter. My friend, he throws the game down on the counter and he's like, I thought you said you didn't have manhunt. <laughs> like he really caught us red handed. <laughs> yeah. My, my friend literally leans across the counter and is like, two inches from this guy's face and he's like go home to your family yes. and like shoves the game off the counter <laughs> and you're not going to believe this but there was a call to corporate that day to complain mm -hmm. about us and we no come way. in the next day and my manager's like hey man so uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I got a call last night <laughs> from our district manager <laughs> said you guys maybe said some stuff you shouldn't have to a customer <laughs> and my friend's just like yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, he came in on Christmas, so 
probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, man, I really wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just so unreal. And that was like a daily occurrence at that place. Just yeah. like firing offenses being waved away because we just had such good sales. The story is like the venting that this man must do when he goes home to his significant I, other. Like, I don't know what to do with these kids, man. <laughs> it's these freaking kids, brother. They yeah. make good sales, but oh man, is it worth it? <laughs> he would always talk about how he was going to run that company one day. and. Uh-huh. Uh, run into the ground perhaps yeah. but it's not there to run anymore so yeah. <laughs> rest in peace oh. that's crazy but th- those are the kind of video game memories that like whenever i hang out with my like high school friends yeah it always somehow ends mm-hmm. up back on those conversations it's yeah. just like so funny to me yeah that's awesome those are the video game memories that are not multiplayer related unless yeah. you count all my coworkers yeah. offending yeah. people. I the one time I ever got written up was because someone thought I was one of my friends oh. that we did not look anything alike. And I'm like walking in and there's this guy like yelling at my boss and my boss is like, "Did you were you rude to this guy yesterday? And I was like, Craig, I didn't even work yesterday, bro. Mm. I was not rude to this guy. I don't know who this guy is. But the guy swore up and down that it was me and that I was really rude to him. Mm. And Craig was like, I'm going to write it up, but I guess we'll just wait to submit it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Great. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Why are we even having this conversation then? Right. Oh, that's so, yeah, it was so weird. What a weird place to work. Mm. Talk about experiences that you'll never get back. Yeah. A job that you can afford to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you don't because mm-hmm. you're just very good at it. Right. That yeah. is very different from any job I've had since then. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, it's too real. That's it for me. Um, I think. I've got a pretty good story, I think at least. And, okay. And well, I'll opinion. be the judge of that. <laughs> uh, so I'm in middle school mm-hmm. and me and my cousin Anthony are nothing else matters in life except runescape okay it's the only thing that matters grades nope don't matter just runescape blood life and water Pure ah, runescape. i wasn't time. here for this phase of your life but i've definitely heard stories about um this so me and anthony that's all we talk about that's all we do uh and we decide why go to school when we can skip school and we can play RuneScape. I say wow. that every day. So <laughs> <laughs> the, my, his parents, my aunt and uncle, uh-huh. would leave for work all day. Uh, so his house was empty. So we would go to the bus stop. His parents would leave for work. We'd <laughs> go away from the bus stop and go back to his house uh, and play RuneScape on their computers all day. Um, and we skipped so much school without the thought of... This couldn't possibly come back to. Well, you had never us. heard the right. word truancy before, yeah, no. so it just. <laughs> so, we had maybe skipped three days of school, and my older brother Stephen uh, notices that we're skipping school and says, "Hey, I want to skip school too." But he does not play RuneScape. Mm-hmm. He thinks it's nerdy, which he's right. <laughs> <laughs> which, for the record, he was right. It's yeah. definitely nerdy. Yeah, and. Uh, he skips school with us, but he's just chilling on the couch the whole time while we're uh, playing RuneScape. Um, well, the difference between the middle school and the high school, Stephen's in high school at this point and we're in middle school, mm-hmm. is that the high school would call your parents when you miss so many days of school. Uh... We had even missed more days of school than Stephen. <clears throat> and middle school did nothing about it. Mm-hmm. Um, our grades were just slipping, that's all. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> they just write it on your report card. So yeah. Anthony and I are at his house during school hours, and Stephen had gone into school that day. And a car pulls up in the driveway, and I look outside the window, and it is my mom, and Stephen oh. is in the passenger seat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you've been narked. <laughs> so Anthony and I had a system. Uh, well, we all three had a system where if one of his parents came home early one day, we would leave out the back door, run across the road to like the drainage system <laughs> pipe. There's like an underground like pipe system in our neighborhood. Oh, it's called Kurrigate. A Kurrigate? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we would just play our Game Boys. We would switch to Game Boy mode and play our Game Boys and play Pokemon in those Kurrigates. Pl- plan B, Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Engage. And we, would, we were basically under the road right outside his front door. So we would just, and we could watch through the like little grating on the road 
when his parents would leave. So unreal. And then we would get out of the that <laughs> yeah. system and then go back across the road and go in the back door mm-hmm. and just go back to playing RuneScape. Yeah. <laughs> and we did that several times. We had to go and bail from the house several times. Um, once we heard a car door shut, it was like, boom, we were out of there. Yeah. Left no trace. But that's so crazy and to me because then the alternative is your mom goes to his house, can't find you there, right. calls the school, and the school's like, I don't know, they're not here. <laughs> well, what had happened was Steven's in the passenger seat, and mom goes and knocks on the door. No one answers, of course. We're now watching her at the front door, and but... <laughs> It's like, a, it's like the Goonies. So, yeah, yeah, so exactly. mom gets in the house. We're not there. She goes back in the car, and Stephen, I think, tells her at this point, yeah, they're over in the Kurrigan <laughs> oh over there. Double nart. And so we're like, so she comes over, and she looks down into the road, into the grating, and she sees Anthony's hat. <laughs> the bill of his hat is sticking out, and she says, I see you, Anthony, and then he puts his head back. Like... <laughs> Like, but, but do you see no, you me? Don't. Do you see me Maybe. now? <laughs> you saw me, is what you mean. Yeah, right. I'm not here anymore. So we just have to crawl out with yeah. our tails between our legs. I, I have to hear this story from your mom's perspective. Oh, yeah. absolutely. I have yeah. to. So, um, <laughs> I mean, we end up having to like meet with teachers, and we're in a meeting, mm-hmm. and I don't even know what the teachers know at this point, but they're mm-hmm. giving us all these extra credit options, yeah. and I think they think we missed school for health reasons or something. And <laughs> your mom didn't have the heart to tell yeah, them you were hiding I, under the road. I don't yeah. think my mom and dad told them we were just skipping school. I think we, I think they wanted us to have the extra credit options to get our grades back up. We yeah, ended up getting fair. Our, yeah. Anthony probably got his grades up a lot higher than me because that was the usual, but. Uh, I think I ended up getting some C's and B's in there yeah. and uh, moved on to high school, but yeah. whew, by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> C's get degrees, baby. Yeah. I will say worth it. Yeah. Oh, 100%. so worth it. Yeah. You should I love see how his go, armor. Yeah. <laughs> it's unreal. Yeah, it's dude. unreal. I just love how it's like you guys are playing video games uh-huh. and it's like, well, what are we going to do? In the yeah, cricket. That's what I'm playing like, more video yeah, games. games. Yeah. Yeah. I love Nothing's going to stop me yeah. from playing video Just games. Just yeah. sitting at the war table in Anthony's house, like, okay, so we have to plan for contingencies. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Somebody might come home. What are we yeah. going to do yeah. in that situation? And you got a bug out bag filled with Game Boys <laughs> yes. and Pokemon and yeah. extra bags. We're out of here, I man. Had, I had yeah. little headphones on playing my Game Boy Advance uh-huh. in this Kurrigan, and I caught a Pokemon. I don't remember. And I got excited and I said, like, I caught this Pokemon and Anthony and Steven both look at me like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I got a Snorlax. My yeah. shut up. right above us. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. amazing. Uh, good luck finding footage for this <laughs> episode. Oh, yeah. No kidding. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to put animate the it. The two of us <laughs> in down in there. <laughs> <laughs> Record it quick, Ryan. All right. Yeah. It's so cramped. Yeah, that's a, that's amazing. Yeah. I wish I had that level of delinquency in my life. Uh, yeah. We were hardcore. I love how it's yeah, just you like were. you're getting in trouble just because you're playing video games and skipping mm-hmm. school. Yeah, yeah. Rather than like mm-hmm. they're probably like it oh wasn't my an gosh. addiction by any they're means. Probably, <laughs> I think my last uh, memory is a more recent one, and it's because I have a son. Mm. And watching him. All right, well we can wrap it up here. Yep. Get out of here. Man. <laughs> Just Cut. Watching him experience games for the first time and see how like his creative process comes out in games, it's very interesting because it's like if you play, like he doesn't like the Lego games, hmm. which is very supposed to be like very kid friendly. Right. It's easy mm-hmm. to pick up and play, but Doom. <laughs> <laughs> kid took to it like Doom that. Eternal man yeah. can't get enough to yeah exactly yeah. set in speed right yeah. <laughs> well it's like so you know you go to like a bunch of bricks that are falling down and you just hold A and it builds yeah, and it itself like magically reassembles right them. yeah he doesn't it. like that I hate it yeah he's I like, like your, I want to be able to I like your kid and that's why he likes Minecraft <laughs> is he likes to be able right. to build it himself that's why I like right. he gets the creative freedom and sometimes when he plays a game he's like well daddy why can't I do that and I'm like you know what that's a really good point and i mm-hmm. don't have an answer for well, you well really. let's talk about the world's cycles. a messed up place so yeah they reach a deadline but they haven't <laughs> uh-huh. met their milestone uh-huh. yeah for that quarter so, yeah but and it just it just goes to show you like the extreme accessibility that minecraft has like obviously the depth of the game can be basically as far as you want it to mm-hmm. go mm-hmm. you know but being able to see him like experience that 
to like work through these processes right, in his exactly. brain. Like he's yeah. thinking that way, but then to have a medium that allows him to put that thought into action. Yeah, like he'll he'll to be build awesome. a couch and then he'll build like a bed and then he'll have a window and then he'll build a pool. And I'm like, geez, I'm like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Because he like mm-hmm. he thinks about that yeah. and we wants to implement it and then he can which is yeah. insane. Yeah, yeah it's, so really, it's, it's just it's crazy that you can't do it in the Lego games. The like, games right. about building. The with games bricks. about building. With yeah, bricks, yeah, yeah. And I think the Fortnite Lego is probably a little bit better because yeah. you can actually build stuff. Yeah. you know, to a certain degree. But yeah, it's just it's it's as a dad, mm-hmm. as a gamer, watching him develop into you know a gamer. Watching him use games going, as a medium yeah. to like develop. Yeah, it is, is, has to be incredible. Yeah, it's very but, cool. And then playing games with him, like he loves the Boomerang Foo game. Mm-hmm. Like it's just yeah, we all do. Yeah, that that <clears throat> game is so much fun. And just uh, I don't know, it just being just experiencing that with him has been an incredible journey. Yeah, together. So yeah. it's that's nice. very cool. Yeah, yeah, I can I can only imagine, but I can definitely imagine how satisfying that is. Yeah, like, it's very very cool. My niece and nephew are getting to that age now where they can really start to like form thoughts on their own mm-hmm. and not just like repeat what other people have taught them. Yeah. And it's, it's incredible. Like kids got stuff going on up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's really interesting. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited to see yeah. them hopefully use games in yeah. the near future. I but. used to have stuff going on up here too. <laughs> I'm not sure that I ever did. <laughs> All I know is fine dining yeah. and breathing. Well, right. My That's wife right. will make a joke about playing um, the Lego Hobbit game mm-hmm. because I had a terrible experience playing that game. I was like, why can't I do anything in this yeah. game? All why I do is this hold such a, a boring down. game? Yeah, it's very frustrating. And the controls were just awful. Mm-hmm. I hated the controls and everything. So every now and then my wife will she'll see it or something and be like, let's play that game. I'm like, <laughs> No, 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 get out of here. No, yeah, no. you should flip the script on her next time and be like, I've been wanting to go back and try Don't that again. It can't be as bad as I remember. Well, it there, there used to be a Lego game on the PC that I played a ton mm. of. It was Lego City? World, Harry. It was Lego City too. Oh, okay. I played that one a lot. You could build cars. Yeah, and cool. there was a ton of good stuff in that game. Agreed. Yeah, and uh, the Lego Harry Potter game. Uh, had a free build mode where you're supposed to like build something specific, but oh, I used okay. it as free build. Like I'm just going to build anything yeah. I right. want. Yeah. Can't yeah. stop me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, and it was actually like way better than building in any other Lego uh, game. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I was like, that was, and they haven't done anything like that since even yeah. the Lego worlds game mm-hmm. they made. Yeah. Was like disappointing. It was. Yeah. Yeah. But do you remember while we're doing a memories episode, I'm going to the close, I'm closing my section with this one. Uh-huh. Do you remember that game APB that we APB played? Reloaded? <laughs> mm-hmm. I was trying to think of it when you were talking about that just now. I was like, I just had like this memory unlocked of us playing some kind of MMO, but it was like modern day. And the first thing that happened to us was somebody drove by. Like we weren't, we weren't super impressed with the game, but like the first thing that happened was like someone drove by in a car that just had bleach Yes. images all over it and we were like how do we do that yeah and the only reason we played that game as much as we did is because somebody happened to drive Bye. by with like a bleach insignia on their car yeah and we were like it was like con- it was like cone on the car yeah and- it was like cone and then there was like a hollow ichigo on the yeah. back or something but yeah. it was just like that was so funny to me <clears throat> i totally forgot about that memory until you just started talking yeah. about that. <laughs> that's awesome don't play APB Reloaded. <laughs> I don't even know if you can. I don't remember if, how that game was. Yeah. yeah. I remember we didn't care for it. Um, I do have one more. Okay. okay. Memory. Unless, Throw it down. Did you guys You're have... editing the episode. Go at it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, going, this is going back to how I like to troll. And these memories are so fantastic to me, of yeah. course. But I think Taylor and I did this the most in the Bloodborne game. We did it, it every FromSoft game since i think dark souls 2 has this option where you put like a mimic veil on and you turn into an object mm-hmm. mm. and you can hide yeah so from invaders and bloodborne we did it a lot I where we that. would i we would go into i'd go into your world or you would come into mine and one of us would just be bait right standing next yeah. to a bunch of objects and one of the objects is one of us uh-huh. exactly and so Indeed. we would just surprise players or we would just hide and just like on the my halo memory we would just yeah. hide and watch invaders search giant <laughs> this giant mansion for us we're yeah, at the yeah. we did it a lot at the uh the manor in bloodborne mm-hmm. um 
were Kanehurst Castle. Right, Kanehurst Castle. I can't believe I remember yes. that. Yes. The Kanehurst Castle, we would hide in there and you would just become the statues. There's statues scattered all throughout yeah, yeah. of like these like women like weeping. Mm-hmm. And so you would just become one of those statues and hide. Yeah. And man, it was such a blast. Yeah. Like just, the player would just like give up and leave and then the next one would come in and they'd start <laughs> running around and yeah. we're just eating pizza. Or <laughs> just whatever, man. Dude, just hanging out. Yeah. You, do a lot of, you do a lot of hiding yeah. from yeah. people. I get uh, Hide and seek was my favorite as a child. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You must have been very good at it. Yeah. 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 You trolled from a young yeah. age. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, people said, hide and seek i'd go grab my shovel <laughs> yeah where's the nearest bush i'm ready <laughs> i do remember that though yeah because if you're just standing there and it's like yeah. they would be running at you yes. and then they would stop because they'd be like mm, yeah this feels like a trap yeah. you know and yeah. then but how I, could it be i do it in all that's near him are bags of flour yeah <laughs> <laughs> I still do it in Elden Ring. Uh, yeah. I recently did it. I turned into a jar. I jumped into a tree, yeah. turned into a jar, and stayed there while people looked for me. Like, don't hit the jar in the tree. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't be that. <laughs> That's awesome. I uh, love the two person strategy. Yeah. yeah. Just like, I would. It's just me here. I by was myself. a statue up on a. One specific memory I have is I was a statue up on a cliff. It was like on the balcony that was on the inside of the. Kanehurst Manor, as soon as you walk in, Mm -hmm. there's a balcony on your right. And I was like one of the statues. And you would lure the invader over to that balcony. And then I would just drop down with that giant two-headed sword and smash all their head. Yeah. Yeah. They would just like flatten out. Yeah. Yeah. And then we would just spam RB. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You did. (laughs) Get them, got them. Yeah. Yeah, That's hilarious. I would love it when they would invade a second time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They'd be like, I'm not coming in there, man. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm behind them. <laughs> yeah. I'm the other statue this time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my first thought was like, yeah. if you're going to actually try and fool them, just like have both of you use the mirror wheel, but one of you do a bad job. Yes. And then they're like, yeah. you're not hiding very yeah. well. And then the yeah. other person is just like right behind them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's good, good stuff. stuff. That's good that's stuff. Right. good stuff. Yeah. That's right. That's true. It is good stuff. Well, those have been great memories. Love it. <laughs> so glad to revisit uh, them with you all. And did y'all have? I don't want to like tell you guys not to tell stories. Did you have more stories? <laughs> I, no, I think that was good. Man. Okay, I think that is yeah. an episode's worth at least. Right. Well, that's that's, right. that's our entire lives in a nutshell. <laughs> so uh, now you know everything about us. You know everything about us. Now we just need to make more memories. Make can, more memories. Oh, make hey, memories right now. You know what I would like to hear? Honestly, I'd like to hear your memories. <sighs> what is your best? vaguely I, video game related i tell memory. people yeah. to email us comment mm-hmm. and i check the email but do, check they, the comments. do they know where to send the email to that might be the problem if you're not telling them what the email address is i think i told them okay well do you want to make sure <laughs> no nah. do you want to use the just watch the last no? episode and okay. skip to the ending okay perfect yeah, and i'm not going to do another ending don't tell them it's did i save game. i'm gonna go just go watch for save podcast. Yeah. It's, it's not yeah. did I I'm save I'm not going to tell them it's did I save podcast at gmail. At gmail.com. Yeah. I'm not going to tell them to like and subscribe. Don't tell them to follow us on Blue I'm Sky. I'm not going to tell them how thankful I am to Sam Webster. I will. For, Thanks, for Sam Webster. For the use of the intro and the outro, <laughs> even though I am very thankful. I'm not going to tell them. We love your music, you. Sam. Thanks. Let it go, Sam. I'm not going to tell them that we're also on YouTube and hit the mm-hmm. like and subscribe yeah. and. Check us out on all podcast uh, platforms yeah. or YouTube. <clears throat> That's your choice. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds great. Okay. Okay. And uh, is there anything else you don't want to tell them? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what? We always have this standoff at the end of exactly. the episode. Don't forget to save. Oh, don't forget to save? <laughs>